Voting fraud is nothing new, but with so much attention on absentee voting during the pandemic, con artists are coming up with ways to steal voters' identities and their money. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne helps us spot these schemes. If you are registered to vote and you just received your absentee ballot application in the mail, the state's Consumer Protection Agency says you should be suspicious. Why? Because the state's Elections Commission sent out those applications about a month ago. There's always a chance the application may be legitimate, but Laura Sutherland with DATCAP says it doesn't hurt to be extra cautious. She says if you get an official-looking government envelope in the mail and the application inside asks for your Social Security number or your bank account, it's a fake. Also, she says you should never have to pay a fee to request an absentee ballot. There is a lot of heightened activity around this election. You're going to be contacted by a lot of campaigns, by a lot of nonprofits um, that are legitimate. Um, but before you engage, you know, be sure you trust the information that you're getting. Sutherland explains it can get confusing because besides the Wisconsin Elections Commission, political parties and candidates can also send out absentee ballot request forms in the mail. If you want to see if your application is the real deal, go to the State Elections Commission website and see for yourself what the application is supposed to look like. Or you can reach out to your local municipal clerk with questions. Another option is to make your request for an absentee ballot by visiting myvote.wi.gov. These sources you can trust, unlike some others. Unsolicited text, unsolicited pop-ups, unsolicited calls, unsolicited um, ballots mailed, or their actually applications mailed to you. So that is what you need to sort of avoid and, and know that if, it's, if you didn't ask for it, you know, you should really question it. If you come across any kind of election scheme, the state's consumer protection agency, DATCAP, wants to hear from you. I put a link in this story online at tmj4.com so you can file a complaint. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.